What's up guys, so we're on the second day of Rio Guardian and basically this is when you can get your 8 basic furies for only a $5 top up and a 500 gold consumption. So I highly recommend you get it today. Um, you only have one chance and then until the next event comes back around probably next month. So you basically, pretty much you can get 8 basic furies for a very reasonable price every month and it's pretty much the cheapest way you could get T1 in the long run. Um, but there's just a few things I, wanted, I just want to talk about, you know. I don't know if you guys ever, like, had these kind of things, but, like, when you have those dreams that are just so realistic and so amazing that you wish you could have it for every day of your life, like, I had that, I think, like, two days ago, pretty much, or was it, no, it was yesterday. Um, I was gonna make a video yesterday, but I figured, you know, just do something else, um, and then do a daily for tomorrow since the real Guardian is out, but, yeah, I mean, just perfect dreams, man, just perfect dreams. Like, I wish I could have had that dream every day, man, I wish. Uh, pretty much though, been grinding out Brave Souls. I've been doing so many raids, alright? I've been doing so many raids. I have, I did more Hachigans yesterday. And all I can say is that the drop rates are still shit, alright? They don't, they don't change or anything. Um, I don't even know how many Hachigans I, I did. I just did so fucking many. I pretty much did about, let's see. i probably say at least, like another 20 something Hachigans. And I only got him to drop five times this time. So it's a very low drop rate, and there's really no way around it, you know. Even if you do Legend, it's not a guaranteed drop, so it's still pretty tough. Um, at this moment, I'm just, I'm having such a hard time calculating this shit. I'm tripping right now, what the fuck. Hold the fuck up. Math is hard right now. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, yeah, never mind. I, I just fucking, like, I don't know what the fuck happened to me, like. So, I need three purples to get 106 points, I think. And that's gonna get me the uh, 150. So, I'm really trying to get Shinso again right now. I kind of picked a bad day to start refreshing on daily tasks, though. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. I even went over the purple Rio Guardian. Uh, or not the Rio, the fucking Trials. Okay, yeah, fuck this shit. I'm so done. I don't, even, I don't even know how many coupons I spent trying to get this, but... I skipped over this trial tower. That's bad enough. But then the fact that I still can't get any of the purple ref uh, refines or fortifies is just... Oh, man. Shit. I just really want to get that fucking Shinso again. Wow. Alright, this is fucking ridiculous, man. 200 coupons later to finally get one fortify. Now I need one more. Now I need one more. Oh, it was shit. at this moment that he knew. That was terrible. He fucked up. So yeah, I spent like about what? What the fuck happened? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? Was that shit not a fortify? What the fuck did I press? I'm so fucking done. I didn't even get the fucking 40 coupons to make the... Motherfucker, yo. I'm so pissed. I am literally fucking pissed. Fuck this daily task bullshit. I'm fucking done. God damn. Hell to the no, I'm fucking pissed. Fuck that daily task bullshit. Man, what the fuck? Is this shit for like I still don't know what the fuck I did. I thought I saw a purple fortify and I clicked on that shit. Did I click on something else, or did, was I just seeing things and know something else? I did a purple one, but what the fuck was it? I'm so fucking confused right now. In my eyes, I saw a purple hammer. But it didn't give me... The bonus. What the fuck just happened? I'm just so shocked right now. I'm so shocked. Um, but yeah, I have a... Fuck it, whatever. Too late now. 
Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be giving you guys the Void Region video from yesterday. Only reason I'm doing a Void Region is because I pretty much came prepared for it this time. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that, and then the rest of it is going to be on tomorrow. But I made some like, humongous changes to my formation. I'm fucking salty, though. Goddamn motherfuckers robbed me, yo. They fucking robbed me. Alright, so... We have exclusive fragments in that, so that's what I need. So basically, the way you get the secret treasure of the day, to get those basic furies, is you top up 200 gold, which is $5. You top, you spend 500 gold. Even though it says top up, it's a consumption, trust me. And they have to put in vitality for coupons. So, it really sucks, though. But, I mean, I am stacking invite, but I mean, at least I'm going to do the cheapest alternative. It's really no point doing the 900 vitality for 300. Because if you do the math, you only have to spend, what is it? Uh, 700 just to get 400 coupons out of it 700 vitality from doing this twice to get 700 coupons and you can and you can do it once a day obviously but why the fuck would you spend 900 vite unless you're like on the last day and you really want to transfer it so it's just really bad um, and they have to do one lucky real turn uh, one real lucky turntable thing I remember I, I did this shit once for 500 gold and I got two basic furies so it pays off once in a while but it's extremely rare, so I wouldn't say, like, put all the gold into it. What I usually do, though, is I do the special cultivation when there's at least exclusive fragments. So I have four chances. Oh, shit! Alright, we got four chances. Oh, shit! Alright, we got four chances. Alright, Hikifune and uh, Hisage. So, alright, whatever. I mean, you spend 400 gold for 200 exclusive fragments. That's one of the best deals you could get. So, yeah, like, honestly, that shit pays off for me. I'm still 50 short, so instead of spending that, I'll just try another. Ah, yeah, but the luck right now. But still, I mean, two, 200 fragments for 500 gold is is a very good thing. Um, Brazil got their void region now, and honestly, it's kind of like pretty much as bad as me doing it on gold games. It's really like the same shit. We we never get far or anything like that. Um, I don't do the fucking janking on this, y'all. You guys know why I don't do that shit. Because I will literally win, like, one out of those five chances every time I do it. Like, you could get some free shit out of it. Fuck it, let's just do this. I think I didn't do it yesterday, though. So, rip. But, whatever. At least getting some exclusive fragments for that gold was redeeming of that daily task. I still don't know what the fuck happened. I'm still trying to, like, rethink in my mind what the fuck went wrong. <laughs> I'm still, like... Like, what the fuck? I can't tell if, like, I did a different purple than what I thought I saw. Or if it was just a, a game bug or some shit. I just have no idea what happened. I'm gonna have to rewatch this after I record the video. But damn, that shit got me fucked up. That shit really has me fucked up. Um, but yeah, you guys will see the Brazil Void Region video before this one comes up. And honestly, it sucks though. Because I try to get battle reports and the battle reports don't work in the Void Region for Brazil. Assuming it's the first night, I can understand that uh, there's obviously going to be bugs, but when you can't even see your own damage, that just really sucks. That just really sucks right there. Um, I'm still farming like Brave Soul Raids today. I'm going to get all the Ichigos needed for Kenpachi. Um, I was doing it last time it was around, and I got about five Ichigos or something. So I still need like eight or seven Ichigos before I can max my Kenpachi. But you thought raid bosses are hard enough. The the worst part is grinding the 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 jewels that you need. I pr you pretty much have to go through about like I think two three hundred soul tickets in order to max a six star. It's it's really crazy, man. Um, but I'm really looking forward to the next brave soul banner. Like I really want the swimsuit bullshit to go away. Like the swimsuit characters are not good. They just really are not good. There's only like, the Retsu Unahana is pretty much the only good one since she is the best healer in the game now when she's a 6 star. And her soul trade is a boost, but even if I pulled her, I don't use healers, man. I, I just don't want, I don't like healers. I'd rather have boss killers or just nukers or whatever, you know. I really don't like using healers, um, so I just use them for the soul trade anyway. But otherwise, yeah, she's, they're pretty much shit. Renji is, like, I would say he's good because his attack actually goes over 500. And I think his special, like, boosts damage or something. Oh, no, I think that's Yorichi. Yorichi boosts her own abilities. So, the swimsuit Yorichi is a good one because she is basically an upgrade to the blue agility one that she had. Uh, it's pretty much like the first Yorichi that came out when the game started. So, yeah, her swimsuit version is an upgrade to that, which is really good. But I think she's a hard type. So, that's pretty much like... I don't know, it's... 
there's a lot of good heart characters. Well, not a lot of good. I only have a Gin that's good, but when we have the uh, like the next banner of six stars, it's gonna be Tashiro, who becomes the best six star. That's a heart type. And then you're gonna also have Shin Sui, who becomes the next best purple type, as well as Jishiro, who becomes the next blue type. So I really want to pull all three. I'm definitely gonna spend. I'm gonna definitely buy a lot of orbs for that one. Hopefully, I get all three of them. Um, the pull rates really got me like just this, like this. I don't know. Um, just really messed up. They really do. Ever since I did that Gogeta banner, man, I just don't trust pulls anymore in those kind of games. That's kind of the reason why I'm so sc scared about starting Naruto online because. My luck is super shit, and pretty much when I have to do pulls, that, uh, when I play a game that involves pulling, I just expect nothing out of it. <laughs> I just really don't. I mean, I was looking at it again yesterday. The average to pull a Gogeta from that banner that I was pulling was $550, and it was an average of 1,000 stones. So I spent 4,000 stones, which is probably over like $1,500. And I didn't even get him. I didn't even get Pycon until the last 200 stones. So, that is ridiculous. I, it's like, what the fuck? He can't even get a new character until I, I use up all those stones, pretty much. So, yeah, I mean, that's why Gogeta Banner got me fucked up. But, I mean, I'm looking forward to um, the Super Vegito Banner. I'm saving all my Elder Kai's for that Gogeta in case I pull him. And I really want to get a Super Vegito as well. Plus, when that phys the physical Broly comes out, I want to get all three in that event. So, I'm going to basically just save my money for that. There's a lot of banners that are coming up for two games I'm playing, and I just I need to spend money for that. Plus, there's nothing to get in gold games. Maybe when, like, a Sturmator comes out and actually something worth getting, I'll top up. But other than that, I'm only focusing on getting um, Spirit Orbs for the Shin Sweet banner that's going to come out. It's going to probably be out right after the swimsuits. Actually, no. I think we're going to get the Zanpakuto fillers first. Then a month after the Zanpaktos, we're going to get the Shinsui Captains and all of them. And then we're going to finally get Mugetsu. So Japan should be getting Mugetsu next month or two months from now. Um, the global version is still very behind, but, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. No rush. Uh, better just to see. I'm going to probably reroll a Japan account for Brave Souls just to try and get that Mugetsu. That's what I'm going to try and do. Um, then I'll pretty much start Japan Brave Souls as well because that Mugetsu, I just want to really see what he does. They're going to have to make him overpowered for sure, but who knows what his abilities are actually going to be. Um, but yeah, Brave Souls is going to be really fun. There's two banners that I'm pulling for. is that Shinsui and the Mugetsu one. And that's going to be a lot of orbs for both of them. Um, and then I also have to worry about Doken, which... The Super Vegito banner is pretty much like three months away for the one I'm waiting for. So I have a, uh, I have a long or a huge amount of time for that one. And then this week we have the... In Doken, we have the uh, physical... Well, we have the Gohan Do uh, Doken Awakenings come out. So I'm basically farming. I got my physical Gohan Awakened. And now I'm just basically trying to work towards the Agility Type 1. And the Agility Type 1 is uh, pretty much has a really good amount of damage. So I like him, but that physical one, I'm going to have to use him because he's my only plus 3 key lead. I don't have anybody else, so it really sucks. But I mean, at least I can have a 3 key lead now for all types. That's a good thing. I tried to pull for the in type Gohan, and I just got no luck. So, I, I I was really salty though because I did the discount pull, didn't get shit, and then I do a regular fifty, and it shot up in the air. So I was like praying, just please be a buy guys. All right, I got the buy guys. So in that banner, there are literally five SSRs and three of them that I wanted. The only ones I didn't want was a new Super Saiyan two Angel Goku. Which is just like really useless. And then you there was also the Kid Buu, which I didn't need because I already had him. So I wanted to have Ultimate Gohan, the the int type that just came out. I wanted to have the uh, Full Power Frieza. Or I wanted the Strength Gotenks. Any of those three. Any of those three. Three out of five chance of getting one of those. And out of no... And when I was on my Discord saying... Oh, I don't want anybody except for the Boo and the Goku. Wouldn't you fucking know? I pulled that shitty Goku. And I was just so disappointed. I was just... I'm not even going to pull on that banner. Um, the Int Gohan would have been cool. But if you guys do play Doken, this is your time to do that that Doken event. Even if you don't have them, farm 30 medals because it's, t it's pretty much bugged. 
and Bandai said they're not going to fix it until the next time it comes around. So, in case you guys don't know, like, the 40 stamp Doken events, and then later on Japan has the 50 stamp supers, you pretty much have, like, ultimate abilities for, like, the, the people you fight. So, for instance, like, the Broly one, you have to stop his rampage, otherwise he will, like, hit your whole entire team and skill and just murder you. But when it comes to Gohan, you basically need the boost to stop his ability, and that's pretty much it goes to make sure that he doesn't skill. He has, like, his ultimate awakening skill. He has, yeah, like, his Doken event is just extremely hard. And considering that it's bugged right now, it is still, like, difficult, I would say. But it's a lot more manageable now. So what I'm doing is I'm going to try to farm 30 of those medals. I already have 10 farms, so I just need 20 more. Um, I'm only going to farm 10 more. Doken Awaken my Agility Gohan. And then I'm going to farm the last 10 and save those in case I ever get the in-type. Because it's going to be... I, like, all I gotta say is that when you have to farm this when it comes back, it's gonna be really difficult. Especially when you have to use booze, because not all the booze are too good, some of them are actually pretty good. And you're gonna have a hard time, you know, doing them. So I'm just better off, you know, do them now so you don't have to regret it later. Um, there's still also gonna be like the Majin Vegeta Doken Awakening after this one with the physical Broly, so that's gonna be something really nice to hope for. I still wanna pull a Majin Vegeta. I mean, oh man, I was watching Dragon Ball Z. Uh, two days ago, and I got up to, like, I don't even know which episode, but pretty much with the whole, like, the Majin Buu thing and Majin Vegeta, man, when Vegeta sacrificed himself and tried to kill Majin Buu, that, that shit had me, like, legit break down, and I just started crying. I was like, damn, like, that was just, like, the ultimate sacrifice right there. Plus the words he said and everything, oh, that shit was just perfect, like, oh. It, it legit brought me in tears. It legit brought me in tears. But... Oh, we have some consumption rewards here. Nothing too good. But man, I'm still just still wondering what the fuck did I go what the fuck went wrong in that daily task? I'm still not gonna see it until I end the video or the recording, I mean. I just don't understand what the fuck went wrong. What the fuck went wrong? I really need to get a new intro for my YouTube channel. I'm just not even gonna use the intro anymore until I get one, I guess. I just want something fresh, and I just really don't want to make myself an intro, pretty much. So, I'm going to just keep searching until I find somebody professional enough to make me one, I guess. But it's going to be... It's pretty much been a dead search, because I've been looking everywhere, and I can't find anybody. But, on the bright side is, I will be level 140 today. So, I can finally use the 140 set, but I won't use it, because it's not going to be infused. So, there goes another problem. And then getting the next five levels... It's going to be bad. But on the bright side is, when I get 139, or when I get 140 on Hikifune, um, I'm going to finally reincarnate her. Maybe I'll reincarnate her. I probably will. And then when I get Namaya and Berserk Renji 140, I'm also going to third RI them. So it's going to be uh, really nice. But the thing I wanted to basically say about the Void Region video you'll be seeing tomorrow is, I went through all the stones that I had in my bag, and I went through all my refines. So starting with Namaya... He was at 280% hit, and I basically refined everything to be agility, hit, and wisdom for him. Now, I have spent a ton of silver going through this. I think I legit even spent like two hours of straight up doing refines on all my partners. I did it on everybody except for my main. I was going to do it on my main, but it was like right before Void Region, so I couldn't do it. didn't have enough time. But my next Void Region, I'll do it. Plus, he still really needs hit stones. Even if I were to refine him with the purple hits, he'd be up to like 200% hit. Which really isn't enough for most of the Void regions. There's some of them that are really easy, so he could still hit. But, you know, it just really lacks without the T1. But my damage went up drastically. Um, I went to doing, like, usually 1 mil damage. Without, like, uh, without Berserk Renji hitting 2 or 3 supports, my damage was usually, like, 1, one mil to, like, 1.6 mil. Now I do at least, like, 3.6 mil on those kind of formations that are 1 3 1. So I can't even imagine when there's actually 3 supports to nuke my Berserk Renji. My total damage would be probably like 6 mil hits, so it's not the best, but it's a huge improvement to what I had, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, Namaya got 300% hit now from 280% with all the hit, ref uh, hit refines. And that's what you guys have to make sure. If you guys really need a hit rate, refine it, because at the worst case, like for this one, this is I think the white hit rate refines, which is like the worst kind you could get. You still get 2% or something like that. And if you were to have at least 2% on all pieces, you get an extra 12% hit. But there's also the best case scenario where you can get 
the blue ones are three point like around three to four and then the f uh, purples are all above four so if you were to get all purples times that by six you could get an extra 24 percent hit so think about that if you're really lacking hit rate you can just refine everything into like whatever you need pretty much that's why refines actually make a huge difference to your character uh, my berserk Renji, i gave him strength agility and hit rate refines so his hit went up from like 250 percent to 273 percent and it's just i'm really happy with this i mean for void region that's pretty much the only thing i have to work for towards and i'm really like not looking forward to the seventh mod on all the partners because berserk Renji's mod is useless and honestly not a lot of the characters that are getting seven mods are gonna have good ones anyway hiki fully though i did her refines as well uh, agility wisdom and hit rate plus we still need them infuses on the gear so like her stats are really lacking but i mean 250 percent hit almost is just as good as you really need it and then ichibi i did a uh, agility w or i didn't know i did strength wisdom stamina for everything you know just to get his defense stuff he's really useless for void though i need to get a change for that I need to think of something for Void. There's really not a lot I can do because I don't have another T1 set. And there's really nobody that can actually just... You know, unless I got, like, the Byakuya from the Tavern and got him for his death mod. But then getting his fifth uh, his fifth mod is going to take a while anyway. So I really wouldn't want to do it. Um, another thing I finally trained myself to do is every time I go on the game, to go to the guild reward and just apply for something. I want to get all the guild rewards pretty much just taken so I can keep it because the materials are good. I don't care what I get anymore. Um, I still have 3.6 billion silver almost, I'm just saving that for a new partner. I'm really disappointed though, like Shinny Game. I know like it's called Shinigami, but everyone knows the game host as Shinny Game, so I say it that way. Um, if you say Shinigami, then nobody's gonna know what's going on pretty much. But they have Waiichigo for 15k permanent buy, man. Like, I wish I could get that shit. I really do. Probably still wouldn't use them over Berserk Renji, except for like PvE, or PvP I mean. But still, for like PvE, I would use him. Like Ryoka and Evil Spirit and shit, you know, just to... He gives the Assaulters an attack buff. It wouldn't stack with Hiki, though, so it's kind of pointless. Nah, I would just fuck around with Waiichigo. I mean, I I like the whole idea of his character, plus he has some really good mods. Just a, just a fucking nice-ass character to look at, basically. I'm pretty much halfway to getting him in CSV. I have 6,300, and I could probably exchange another... Like, see how many orders I have. I have... 2,000, so maybe like another couple hundred stones, it's not too much, but it's gonna be a, lot, a while before I get Waiichigo, plus I might even buy him by then. I might just keep everything. Um, but, yeah, I did mention the refine, so that was pretty much the only big thing that I did, was just refine everything. Uh, let me claim the mail. So yeah, Void Region yesterday was the refines and the soul stones, which it doesn't really matter to me anymore. The funny thing is that when I needed those, they were impossible to get. But now with the Void region, it makes it so easy to get them that it's just going to stack up. I remember when I had all those from Brazil and just topping up, and I thought I had so many, but... Um, yeah, I mean, he has an much attack chance to hit all. Which, it's going to only really help out if I use Cotton for the bond requirements. And I don't even know if his auto attack could kill the entire team. But, um, let's see... So I still have to max these accessories, and I'm not on point with my um, alliance campaigns pretty much. Been doing them slow and steady. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. So yeah, getting those Hogan hands is going to be a pain. And then let's see what I can infuse. We really need to get those boots up there. So you can get two more levels, almost a third one. So it's going to be at 17 tomorrow. And it's still going to be probably like a week before I max these boots. It's probably going to still be a week. Um, one more level on the belt. No, I don't want to use any of the 5th uh, Division Spirit Waters on the gear. Because boots have to go first and then the weapon itself. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. But when this set gets fully infused, oh, you already know it's going to be extreme. I can't wait till I hit level 40 though. It's just a good feeling, I guess. Because it means I can finally utilize the 140 set, even though I just technically can't swap it out. Um, plus, plus, I just swapped it out. Like the, the only problem I have is I just put the 137 Hikifune. So, infusing this is a pain. And there's really no point in ditching the Maya's 120 set either when it's fully infused. Because it is going to have way better stats than the 140 set anyway. So, you compare the boots 
the 130 set has 350 more stats than the uh, than the 120 set, but then the 140 set has like another 350 more than the 130 set, I think. Or maybe it might be a little bit more, but they're pretty much ridiculous as far as that could, that happens. So I will get 140 today. Um, it's gonna be a while before Namaya and Berserk Renji get 140 though, so I can reincarnate them. Ichibe and Hikifune should get it within today and tomorrow probably. Maybe not Ichibe, but Hikifune will probably level up at the same time as me. And I could reincarnate her. Like I'm still, I'm still the second fastest in the CSB, so I could afford to reincarnate and drop a couple levels. It's not too bad anyway. Plus, once I hit 140, I think I will just reincarnate. You know, get another six percent more damage. And I'm still gonna stick with the 300 percent damage effect anyway. But I appreciate you guys for watching and listening to my bullshit. I'm gonna end the video and find out what happened during the daily task, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow with the uh, Go Games um, uh, Void Raging video.